Okay, hello my friends. Uh, I haven't recorded any videos for a while now, but now after this like Chinese New Year, one uh, really close visit from our friend Pandemic and a couple of more obstacles, I'm back ready to start and continue on my cool projects. So in the time I was uh, away, this happened at the post office. As you can see, here's a lots of cool stuff for my new upcoming projects. So let's get to those packages. So let's start from somewhere. I'm not sure what's in here. Okay, in the first package we have a couple of PWM like modules. I always need them. This is kind of cool because it has speed controller potentiometer like wired. This one is kind of interesting because it has already built-in uh, polarity switch so you can choose which way the motor will run. And next, let's see what's in here. I already know what this is. It's so here we have really cool uh, boost converter. It's rated like 900 watts and it should output up to 120 volts. So it's quite high DC voltage and it's going to be one part of my high voltage DC power supply. So this package should be also related to the last one. Seems like it got bent a little bit, but no worries. So this is quite uh, powerful DC power supply, it outputs 24 volts and it should be like 500 watts. So this will be feeding this uh, boost converter. So from 24 volts I could get uh, 120 volts output. Okay, here we have a set of ceramic capacitors. Uh, I hope they are labeled. In the previous package I got, they weren't labeled, so it's really hard to find what you are looking for. It seems that they have labels on them. And some surface mount LEDs. So here we have a little volt ampermeter. It should be rated up to 150 volts and 20 amps. So this should be okay for my higher voltage power supply. And it comes with like this thermocouple sensor. So really cool. We'll be testing it out later. Okay, so here we have a couple of uh, red LED rings. They are meant for cars, but I need them for my project. Uh, so it was easier to buy already made ring LEDs rather than to build them by yourself. Okay, let's check them out. So this is how they should look. Pretty cool. Next package. Okay, this is quite interesting. I already know what this is. 
So from the past I already have a couple of these high voltage igniters or spark generators. Uh, I haven't tested this huge one out yet, but I found this kind of igniters, uh, high voltage generator, so I had to try it out. I have a couple of cool projects related to this high voltage spark generator, so stay tuned. Okay, let's show you how the smaller one works. Okay, next let's open this large box. As you can see, this is quite large plasma lamp. Little bit wrinkled, but let's hope the lamp itself is okay. So let's try this out. Quite cool plasma lamp. I wanted this one because this has like uh, blue arcs and uh, it's uh, constructed a little bit differently than I used to see and uh, I'll test this out maybe later on when it's darker. This is tiny pocket scale, should be quite accurate for my purposes. Probably needs batteries, couple of AAA batteries. At the moment I don't have any calibration weights, but I'll deal with this later. I don't need extreme precision, but I think this is enough for my purposes. So this is passive infrared sensor for lighting. You can just place this between the lights. It has like daylight saving mode and time for turning the lamps off. DC check input and output. So here we have LED filament lamps, 3 volts, 300k, warm white and red ones, also needed for my projects. Let's check them out. Red ones and warm white ones. In this package there was also these thermal paste packages to use on heat sinks. I will be testing them out as well. Here we have a ratchet screwdriver, pretty interesting and meant for these smaller bits. I think here are some more screwdrivers. Yes. Two screwdrivers with hex bits dedicated to like M3 screws and M2. This should be interesting. I already know what this is. This should be the most interesting package of them all, at least for me. Already fully assembled 
and this should be high frequency, high voltage plasma candle. So if regular candles are not enough, you can use this high voltage 140 watts plus candle for your romantic evenings. And from the same store I have another interesting product. Okay, ton of bubble wrap later we have a small Tesla coil. So as I'm delving into this world of Tesla coils, uh, meanwhile I decided to test out a couple of ready-made ones. So this is the second one I have and I will be testing this guy out pretty soon. So stay tuned. Okay, next we have little saw with exchangeable blades for different purposes. I hope this will be really useful tool. Ta -da. Okay, these are just drill bits for my CNC machine. Here we have couple of sets of M2 nuts and bolts and spacers for smaller projects they are always handy and useful and next we have some tiny screws different sizes for small projects Recently I started painting small miniatures and this is another set to practice the painting. Pretty cool, pretty detailed. So I have a couple of uh, more products from this store and they all seem to be really high quality so I can really recommend this store. Here I have larger package from my uh, favorite electronic store. It contains a lot of stuff. So I have many robots in progress and I needed this kind of servo. It's uh, quite strong. So next I have a couple of microcontrollers, node MCU, couple of Arduino Pro Minis, I really like those. This is a tiny a 1.3 inches. Uh, IPS display they are really cool and useful some optocouplers tiny voltmeter radar movement sensor current regulators for 1 watt LEDs Okay, finally I have these uh, small meters, 5 volt one, amp meter and another volt meter. These two are for my bench top power supply and this one is for secret project. Okay guys, so now I'll be organizing all this stuff and I'll see you soon with my new and cool projects. Thank you for watching and goodbye.